I don't think anyone here thinks of you as just our foster parents. I don't even know what that term means, because to me, you're just ma and pa. And I think I speak for everyone here when I say, thank you for taking us in. For taking me in when I was just a punk kid who was scared of everything. When I had no one else, you accepted me and you showed me what it was like. Um, what it was like to be loved. And none of us would be here if it weren't for you. I mean, just look at this beautiful family you made. <laughs> so let's all lift our glasses to our king and queen. <laughs> Happy 30th, you guys. Everything good in my life is because of you. Like many good films, Short Term 12 is a lot of fun. It's very satisfying to watch, but it's very difficult to talk about. It's difficult to describe in a way that really gets at its essence. Part of the reason for that is that its story sounds very familiar. It sounds like stuff we've seen before. This is set in a foster care group home. It's about the young people, the teenagers who are residents there, and the slightly older people, kids in their early 20s, who are the line staff. Uh, as you know, my name's Nate, and uh, I just, I took a year off of school because, you know, I just wanted to get some life experience, and I always wanted to work with underprivileged kids. What the is that supposed to mean? Marcus, settle down. No, I want to know what you mean by that, underprivileged. It's not what I meant. Then think about your words before you speak. Hey. Newbie. That's a level drop. Go to your room. Go to your room. The fact that this film is out of the ordinary, one of the indications of that is the awards it's won. The star, Brie Larson, won the Best Actress Prize at the Locarno Film Festival. The film itself has won the Audience Award at the Los Angeles Film Festival at South by Southwest. It's a film that really moves us. It's about the emotional lives of both the kids at the home and the young people who take care of them. It's an honest film. It's an emotional film. It's the kind of thing that we'd like to see that we don't see often enough. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.